So the Sandia Matadors flying high right now. We just saw them. Dylan Abbott, Rorton. You've got Tapia's making shots on the outside. Sam Cruz driving the ball rail, helming things. Mm -hmm. How do you like them Sandia Matadors? Well, in the beginning, we picked them to have a really good year. We did. Uh, they stumbled a little bit. Big time some, stumbled. They had some though. losses against teams where we were scratching our head or whatnot. They figured out a way to stay together, which that's key, number one. Stay together. When things aren't going well, you want your team to stay together, the coaching staff to stay together. So they've figured that out. Now they got some confidence. They're reeling off these good wins. And then that win at Valley, people are not going to realize how big of a win that is. That's a big-time win for this team. Because well, we're going to talk about wise, Valley here a little bit later, but yeah. – Valley's flying high, especially yeah, in, yeah. in District 5, and we knew District 5 was going to be a grind, but we'll get to District 5 here in a little bit, but it's a great win for Sandia. Charles, uh, going to appreciate our good friends from Suits Unlimited. Oh, they definitely. provide our wardrobe here on set on U Sports Central. You can visit them just past San Mateo on Manal, right across the street from Biles. Go ahead, read off the list. Larry, Daryl, Ashley, Steve, everyone over there here, go. good friends and family, but prom season is right around the corner, so fellas, you got to go out there, Start checking out the tuxedos because, you know, you got to be looking fly for prom. You know, you can't let the ladies just outshine you. So make sure you go and get it suited up. That's what I'm just saying. You're got such you. a diva. Do you know that? Okay, make sure you got to look You're... good, man. They got to look good. Okay. We got to get to these highlights. <laughs> the La Cueva Bears took on Highland Hornets. Look, this was not important just for Frank Castillo trying to break the all-time APS record. This was important because La Cueva's trying to stay in the playoff picture. Devin Horn from the outside. That's a three. Uh, Overracker's return is huge for this program. Okay, you're going to leave me alone? <laughs> Buckets. A three straight away for Overracker. And I'll tell you what, this is a freshman, Charles. Chavez and one. I think Danny Brown's got himself something there. Yeah, Coach Brown got a nice young team. And with a young team, you're going to take your lumps. And as you mentioned, a freshman, again, oh, kicks it to the freshman. Baseline, Chavez knocks it Ooh. down, looking good off the deflection. Laquava, you can't leave him that open. Gets the tip. Fire your man Ruiz, who always seems to be in the right place at Give the right that. time. I told you, Ruiz gets the finish. And Deshaun Baker, his dad could hoop too, but they swing the ball. Highland trying to get something going. Baker fakes it to the hole, get up there. I think he jumped higher than his pops too. Deshaun Baker with the finish. This might be the most lackadaisical bucket you'll ever see. Moyer says, Give me that. Da 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 da. Okay, I'll just lay that okay. right in. Okay. Back and forth we go there. You see La Cueva up to a little crossover and right on the buzzer before halftime it's Aramante Rhodes with the bucket as we start the third quarter La Cueva and Highland trading some it's a two-point advantage uh Kahala gonna swing it out and that is Jawad for three La Cueva got those streaky shooters but they, they're knocking them down it's hard to guard and with overracker back this opens up the floor a little bit for your boy Curry look at the nice move Curry Taking it out, showing off the handles. He needs to be more huh. aggressive, right? Run the offense, run the offense, curry, little high low action, right? Overex said, nah, I'm dropping this. Buckets, I've been out too long. I'm shooting this. Highland trying to stay in it. 34-25. Laquava with some pressure, but Baker says, I got handles. I'll take it to the rack. Curry missed the block. Curry and Baker off the glass. All right, well, we talked about the freshman. Here's a step back three for Garcia. No, but the put back by Chavez Good had 15 points in this one. He was fantastic. And then Devin Horn with the steal off the other way. No problem. Right-handed finish. Smooch off the windows. Good. Uh, late bucket by Royball. This is the only second three-pointer of the game for Highland. Let's hear what Coach Frank Castillo, winning his coach in APS history, had to say at the end of this one as he goes Passes Jim Holzman at 661. Very impressive. He's off to legend consider, status, right? Yeah, you can see Look at that. The Give me that. Champion, Look, he's got a, they have a sign made, a little Cibola. Obviously, he coached eight years at Cibola before he started in 1986 at La Cueva. There's some to, history don't for you. To date my man. <laughs> the all time winningest coach in APS history at 661 wins, Frank Castillo. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good. You know, I mean, it was a tough game. I thought Highland played really, really well. I thought they, you know, scored and, and showed a lot of patience on offense. Um, you know, low scoring game. I think that's what he wanted out of it. And, you know, our, our pressure uh, just really never got to him. Maybe a couple of times, but hats off to Coach Brown. Those kids are just getting better and better. But I'm so happy uh, that uh, we got to that number, 661. And uh, great group of kids. I've had a lot of you know, support over the years from our administration and from the coaches, from my family, and of course the players and all the parents. And 
everybody has been just terrific. So it feels great. Talk about the rich tradition that you built here from La Cueva leading up to this 661 wins and surpassing a legend, Jim Holzman, and becoming a legend yourself. <laughs> uh, it's just, you know, we've, we've had good players. I mean, you, you build it on good players. And we've had, great, we've had great players here, and they've done a terrific job for us. A couple of them are here tonight, A.J. Bramlett and uh, Nelson Smith. And I've gotten all kinds of texts from those people. But What it's does that mean to you, guys like that coming back and watching such a historic win like this? It's awesome. You know, it's, I'm so happy that they came. It was just it was, it was neat to see them. <laughs> you know, it's just great to give them a big hug. And when I hugged A.J., I thought to myself, no wonder we won so many games. He's so big. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, 661, but you're not done. Your team's 3-2 and two in district, now trying to fight your way into the playoffs. Talk about that. Yeah, you know, I told the kids that there's always going to be a team that's going to make a run at the end of the season that nobody expects, and we want to be that team. So, you know, we've been playing pretty well in district. Even in the losses that we've had, we played really well. So, you know, it's on to Manzano, and we'll see how we do there. Hey, great job, Coach. Congratulations Thanks, and continued man. success for you. Thank Frank you. Castillo. Well, Frank Castillo, he said it best. Um, th this is something special for him, but he had special players the entire time. Um, we know yeah. he's got a lot of great players, players that, like A.J. Bramley, have gone to the NBA or Bryce Alford who's broken crazy records. So he's benefited from great players, but you don't get to 661 by mistake, Charles. Yeah, I mean, when you start breaking down some of the teams he's had in the past, of course he had talent, but there's a lot of coaches who've had talent who don't win nearly as much as Coach Castillo. So that's hats off to him for being such a great coach. Will you please tell the La Cueva staff there to stop turning the lights off when I we're doing like interviews at the, at the end, at the man. Grandies. Come on. Man, off the lights. Try to cut that short. That's Frank Castillo at 661. <laughs> hey, three and outs coming up next. We're going to discuss all the districts and where everybody lies when you return here on a Monday. You Sports Central. Get it together.